Right. What we want to do is we want to make the Nutra tray. And make the Flak Vest, which gets me a lot more HP. We're, I, we can keep going, by the way. Now, what is it that it needs? A Rad Shield. Where is that on the list? Is it even on the list? Unfortunately, it's not at all. Rad Shield, there we go. We need 320 slag to make that. That's actually not outside of possibility, honestly. Like, some of these are kind of expensive, but not unreasonably so. I'd like to get the, the toaster upgrade, but I really want to get the toast hunter first. So if I'm not mistaken, there's the Art of the Warp. Uh, let's see, do we rest? Good god, I have a lot of HP now. That's a nice feeling. So, some, some, but we don't have a whole lot of oxygen. That's fine. Well. So, did I fire one torpedo or two? Well, I got a lot of data. What can I make with that? Well, I can make Art of the Warp finally. So let's grab that. Because, yeah, we might as well grab the, uh, the Toast Hunter. Let's see, body fluid and skin tape. Tape. Oh, can I make another body fluid? Doesn't look like it. What do I need for that? I need a chain. I want to get that one, but yeah, we need a lot of distended testicles, by the way, which is kind of really gross. Oh, well. Let's see, travel subsidy. I could get the travel subsidy, but I don't think I care. And, ooh. Getting the decompiler wouldn't be bad. Extra crowbars, extra, uh, a crowbar and a spanner. It'd take all my slag, though. And we kind of wanted that for the rad shield, because, yeah, if I could get even more health, I'd be unstoppable. Um, for now, I think let's just dock... Let's bring the Germ Spiker, the Swift Regulator, obviously. And I guess we'll bring the Cow Zapper. I mean, as long as we've... No, 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 not, not the Germ Spiker. We want the Rat Spiker. But yeah, I am... Ooh, I like this ship. Okay, so power is all the way out here. Okay. Run away from that a little bit. I I love spiking the uh the spawn points. I think there's a single Oh. I'll have to try that. Just leave that alone. Okay, we are going to be running our oxygen kind of fast here, which is a bit of a concern. I could off some of the boom points. But I don't know if it's a good idea. Dang. I'm going to pick up some radiation. I missed. Okay. Yeah, so we might want to panic and go quick here. Okay, so we've got a little bit more Atmo down here. Let's warp. I've never warped anything before. Oh, interesting. It just warps this uh, veteran janitor instead. That's not as exciting as I was hoping of hoping for. Dispenses warp keys. Hmm. Oxygen at 
Okay, so let's go back to the rat spikers. Because, yeah, pretty much... As long as we spike those... I don't know if you can spike them twice, honestly. Shit. That's fast. Curious on what would happen. Well, I already got what I needed. Already got that. That's good. Okay, we have sanitation. I don't. I don't know if I'm going to be able to go into the pet zone. Oxygen levels critical. Okay, we have the helm down here. I grab that. Grab that. Okay, let's take a look. So except for the pet room, there's nothing. Got a couple seconds left of... Let's just get out of here. It's not worth it. Yeah, lure the bot over the cable? Exactly what I did. So we got the Art of the Warp, which we needed, but we don't need it anymore. So I don't know what it's useful for. It'll be useful for something else. I guess Nebulator, at the very least. Uh, let's check the star map. So, cool pops are up there. What, do, what else do we got? Fuel rivet, rivets, decompile it. Decompiler, or I could head for medical waste for a buttload of bio. Uh, fuel rivets. I mean, it could work. Shed loads of the little guys aren't actually that dangerous, especially with how much HP I get, because I get 99 HP per jump. That's good. What else do we have? Warp key in there. Enemies have half health. Be nice. Uh, so that one's not great. Because I could go down and then up. Or I could go over, down... Because this one would be fun, just because everybody is allied. But isn't great. Uh, I'm gonna head for this one. At this point, like, I'm feeling pretty confident in my loadout. Let's bring the stapler. The germ spiker. And the zapper. Or do we bring the regulator? Actually, I could bring the toaster. Toaster is probably pretty good. Oh, let's go back. Can I? Can I? Let's go back again. Can I upgrade the toaster? Because if I upgrade the toaster, it maxes it out. It does put me back. We'll have to make uh, bodily fluids. But that's fine. It doesn't actually look like the difficulty scales up much at all in this state, which is kind of nice. As long as you stay at the same depth, it's pretty much the same game the whole way through. Eh, it's a little harder now that I'm looking at it, but it's fine. I, again, my main goal here is is upgrades. Progress is nice, but still. Okay, so do we... Oh. Okay, so we have no bridge on this one either. We grab it? I got some merits.
Well, that became a considerably better weapon. Okay. Yeah, maybe radiation would have been a good idea here. I'm not entirely sure. Ow. Not much I can do about that one. The nebulator would be handy right about now. Yeah, or the rad damage. I'm not convinced. I picked exactly the right loadout. I do a ton of damage, which is nice. I can I can one shot everything. It's just the question of was this worth it? And the answer is. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, so that's locked for good. Okay, let's clear this out quick. Like, I was really hoping the toaster was actually some, like, had, like, a napalm feature or something. Because that'd be nice. Oh. They can just get out of there, can't they? Oh, that's okay. We got our Zorcher. I'm free to go about the cabin as I please. Okay, so I got a head. I... Uh, I love the progression system in this game. I, I've said this before, but I, I will always repeat it. It just feels really good. Like, not only are you scavenging for, like, goodies... Uh, let's see. If I lock all of that off, I think that just stays permanently locked. Perfect. I didn't kill him. But that's okay. We're, we're doing fine. I mean, I heal 100 per move, and I don't actually have to stop at every... Everything. The maps seem really repetitive already. This is true. Uh, this... Actually, I haven't been on this map very often. Like I said, I think there's like 30 to 50 maps so far. Many of them reusing very similar... Uh, really similar parts. And so, yeah, they are a little repetitive, but, like, I don't know. I wouldn't say it's any different from, like, Binding of Isaac. But it's way, like, expected to be beaten much faster. So, while you're correct, they are, they are getting repetitive. I will be done with the game before it actually is a problem. Yeah, layouts with the same few rooms swapped. Yep, it is... Not the best, but it's also one of those where it's like, I will be done with this game soonish. Like, I'm going to say one more day and I'm actually done with the game entirely, which like, that doesn't seem so bad. Let's see. So we've already done those. I haven't been into the security room. Generator, a couple other things. Let's see. But yeah, I think it would might have been better. And actually, to some degree, I think I would have loved this game more. If they... Use a lot of these mechanics. 
and made like a fully hand designed linear game. But I think I actually say that of quite a quite a lot of games that it actually would straight up have just been better uh, if there was no procedural generation, no multiple levels, and no like roguelike -y elements, and actually was just like a linear thing. Swords of Ditto was one of those. Uh, which I think it got updated now, so it might actually be better. Uh, but I remember playing Swords of Ditto and being like, why is this a roguelike? It... Does, it, it never made any sense to me, because it actually could have been a fantastic game if they took all that level design sense and actually just turned it into a full-on, like, exploratory game. Uh, there's another game coming out sometime this year called Sparklight. that I'm excited for, uh, that's effectively Legend of Zelda as, as a, uh, like, Link to the Past, effectively, as a roguelike. And I'm honestly not sure why it needs to be a roguelike, but at the same time, it played well enough, so it didn't bother me that much. Yeah, old school Zelda type, yup. Let's see. But, like, it's probably going to be really rad, and I'm excited for it. But I find in a lot of cases, ro roguelike mechanics actually just serve to prolong the game instead of actually making them more fun. In this game, I don't mind it so much just because, like, the setback is such a minor thing. All it does really is give you this tension of death, which I will give credit for. Like, there is something to be said about, like, semi-permanent but not permanent death makes you, uh, makes you play a game differently. You know, if you notice, I'm not just full running and gunning and then just reloading whenever I lose. I, I am, okay, I am running and gunning pretty hard. Um, but, like, I am taking it relatively seriously. And I feel like that actually does do this game a bit of a service. Okay, so we need a crowbar. That would be worth it. I'd like to make the, uh, the rad shield, but we, we should make the crowbar. Because this will actually make it so I get more resources. Can I keep doing it? Yeah. Wow, you can keep just upgrading it. Upgrading it. So it's a 5% chance of scavenging even better junk from containers. I'm not entirely sure what that's going to get me, but I get the feeling it's going to get me a whole lot of goodies. Uh, let's see. So can't upgrade that. Still can't do the rad. Can't do the rest of these. I guess the other thing is uh, I'm not being particularly aggressive here. Let me get the circular AR. Ah, that. Like, I could probably finish a lot of these objectives much sooner, but I'm more or less just trying to go, like, super, super fast. Or not super fast. I'm, I'm trying to fill this out because all of these are cool. Oh, I need that. Laminator and body fluid makes it so it arcs between enemies. Let's see. So this is kind of like how death is handled in Mother Gunship? Yeah. Which, like, I'll... I, I loved Mother Gunship, but it might have actually been better as just a linear narrative game instead of this kind of weird procedurally generated roguelike. I needed way more bosses. That was a travesty, because the boss design in... in... Uh-oh. Randomizes a trait. Well, you know what? Lots of smoke. Let's see what the Gene Twister does. I lost Runner and I gained Deadeye. Excellent aim! Well, that's even better! Okay, cool pops. So, get a lot of things from that. We've got a bunch of hardened juvies and some veteran janitors. Let's dock. So, I could go Pistol, I could go Nebulator. Let's go Nebulator for this one. Germ Spiker was not nearly as rad as I thought it was going to be. Let's grab the Rad Spiker and Cow Zapper. 
What I'm thinking is, if I just see a rift, I, I spike it and go from there. I don't know. So lots of smoke, eh? In retrospect... should work. I might hurt myself with this. That is a mild worry. Of all the clients under my care, I care for you the most. Well, it seems to be working to some degree. The radiation is actually, like, taking them out. We just have to... ...probably rely on that. This is an odd strat. Because, yeah, effectively, instead of fighting anything normally... I just stun it, and then run it. Okay, well, we've got a smidge of whatever that is. Drink tea for a little while, whoops. We want to go this way. I don't know what that noise is. I don't know why everything is rumbly. Eh... I can't believe that didn't actually summon anything at me. I was kind of expecting it would. I was like, oh shit, there's two cameras. I only killed one. I don't think the ship's going boom. I don't really know what's going on. Sometimes they just rumble for a while. And it's just confusing. Giant tin can full of wankers? I think it was. I love the dialogue in this game. It is baffling. Well, it's not the best gun. Let's see what we got in here. Because we can warp that guy. So what is this? Oh! I can just nab warp keys out of that. That's the point of those. Whoops. Surprise indeed. Okay, so what do we even have left? Not much. What? I didn't kill your fellow. Okay, that hurt a bit. Hmm. I should probably just kill these guys. It doesn't do that much damage to me. And just running around while they're shooting at me does more. I Having all this extra HP is actually giving me incredibly bad habits. Because I'm pretty much just like face tanking at this point, which is bad. I shouldn't. I mean, it's working, bafflingly. Uh, let's see. Let's go over here. I don't. Th I don't think there's anything else left on the ship. There's nothing I'm going to be able to find. All this smoke is actually a bit of an issue.
Oh, the radiation does go away after a while. Good to know. I was kind of hoping the rad darts would just... So, spiking the spawn points is not nearly as good as I thought it would be. Oh, well. It's fine. So we get the cool pops. And we get enough resources. Hopefully I can get some more bodily fluids. I probably should have remade them as soon as I... Got there. Uh, I might not be able to make more bodily fluids. Oh, that needs a lot. Okay, so where are bodily fluids? Because I think I think that was the one that I needed, yeah? And that I squandered? Yeah, and I can't I can't make it. Let's recycle some things. Has no use. Has no use. Has no use. Ooh, skin tape. Okay, anything else? No. So if we go back to build mode... We can just make the body... body fluid. Let's check the star map. Next body fluid's pretty far away. So let's go back. Let's just make the body fluid here. Let's go to the workbench. Let's make water cooling. Let's make some progress. Because I'm going a little slow, but... The more of these... Excessive consumption of cool pops is not part of a healthy work-life balance. Durable processing reinitiated. The client installs... Update required. Press any key if you do not wish to not interrupt the system update. The client installs the coolant system, and once again an attempt is made to register the citizen card with HR. No key press detected. System update downloading. Error. Interplanetary receiver required. Press any key when receiver connected. I'm afraid your attempt to connect the interplanetary receiver has failed for the following reason. There is no interplanetary receiver. It looks like we need to kick around some motivational strategies. How's this? If you look for parts to build a new receiver, I'll terminate the succession planning I'm currently engaged in vis-a-vis -vis your position. It's great that we were able to negotiate a win-win position. Issuing care package. Poor Russell. The so Russell's crime is... Action items. Oh. Obtain a roulette wheel, a handset, and an atomic clock. So poor Edna Russell. Oh, I guess it's a lady. Her offense is failure to give way at an intersection. A minor traffic infraction. Okay, so we need roulette wheel, handset, and an atomic clock. I have none of this. So we might as well grab this so it's not bugging me forever. I really wish it would actually be one of those that uh, up you could upgrade the rad cream again, like two more times to the point where you just start healing from radiation. I guess that'd be a little overpowered, but it'd be cool. Okay, so let's do that. We might as well grab the terminal manager. Okay, that's over and done with. What else can I, I upgrade here? Probably nothing. If we go to parts, I can make a lint brush. Well, it's part of Bomb Hunter. Probably worth it. We can even get Bomb Hunter, finally. Okay. So yeah, we're looking at some pretty good, uh, pretty good progression here. I want to get the car carapace. I'd love to work on getting the deconstructor. Uh, the rest of the way up. Swift, Swift regulator would be nice. I don't know. I, I'm feeling well prepared. to assume a new form by basking in nebula emissions. Assumption of an irregular form will result in disciplinary procedures. Okay, so I am mildly injured, but that's not that big of a deal. We can also find a distended testicle. Ha. Huh. Authorization costs no merits. Okay, well that seems worthwhile. Robard detected. Builds nothing. We got a lot of things that just build nothing here. 
Well, let's go to the, let's go to this one. If we've just got a bunch of veteran janitors, I should probably just bring a big gun. Uh, let's see. I got the roaster. Does a decent amount of damage. Or I could roll head stapler. I know roaster one shots them. Guess we might as well do that, but yeah, I got I gotta go get a random bag nut. Bag nut. This is quick. Dang it. They were not kidding when it said many. Okay, so authorizations cost nothing. Which is good. Really hoping I could bring that out. Okay, so we want to more or less just hacks everything here. Every terminal. Every. Every bit. Luckily, this is a medical ship, so any amount of damage I take here is not going to be a big deal. I think it, I can just, like, reset that whenever I want. Which is nice. Is that... Oh! There's the descended testicle. It looks like it was in a bag full of boobs. Which... I'm not sure if that's social commentary or just kind of gross. All may call him B, really. Okay, so we want the sec bot to be active. Thank you for your understanding. Because I can use that. We should probably be out in here. There you are. Alright, I now have an ally sec bot. I got shot for it. But justified. Because, yeah, I can just subvert a lot of these without so much as a care in the world. Which means if so much as a janitor decides to walk off the beaten path, uh, they become mine. Well, it sounds like it's killing something. So, worthwhile. Kind of slow, though. Okay. Uh, holy crap, there's a lot of gun points in here. Oh. Oh. I wonder if that makes Sekbot come my direction or what? Well, this is kind of funky. Off that in a little bit more. There we go. Okay. I probably shouldn't do more than this, but it amuses me to no end. Okay. Did you just make yourself high? Yeah, maybe. Look, all the pretty colors, man. All the pretty colors. I don't know how I missed these. Okay. So now that we've got these, oxygen's at 50%. I should probably go a little faster or just go get some more oxygen. Both are... 
that way. See, I don't want to permanently shut it down. I just want to make use of it. What's up, Sekbot? Sekbud. I guess it'd be using. I, I feel like subverting Sekbot should just make all the cameras, like, work in my favor instead. If that makes sense. Like, in. in instead of, uh. Instead of making it so that, uh, the cameras will continuously be like, ew! And then Sekbot's like, sup? and just walks over. It'd be great if the, the camera started working for me as well and started, like, pinpointing enemies. Uh, so Sekbot could, like, hunter-killer them down. I think that would be the better way of handling it, but whatever. Nope, nothing there. Do we even have anything left? No, I actually cleared everything out. Cool. I've just been wandering around because this is... This was cakewalk. God, how many of you guys were, like, how many of you are old enough to remember the amount of ridiculous, uh, remixes of 300? Because I remember, oh God, when did that movie come out? When I was in, like, freshman year of high school? I think so. It, like, took over the tech lab for a solid week, if not more. Like, everybody was just, like browsing the internet and finding new new This Is Sparta remixes. And I totally forgot about them until today. I really want this. Brainwashes citizens into allies. I wonder if it's a temporary use thing or if it just makes them mine. Because I certainly hope it's the latter. Okay, so that's not helpful, nor is it particularly good. Let's see, we could get the boom whacker there. I mean, honestly... Let's go up. My best bet is just to grab as much tech as I possibly can. Okay, what are we up against? Hardened Juves, Juvies. Here, I'll go pistol for this one. Rad Spiker, and we do have the bouncer. Reflects projectiles, blocks explosions. Oh, I could use um, the sex ability against them if I wanted to. Interesting. See, I don't know why you needed a testicle for that weapon. I look, some sometimes you just gotta grab the gun by the balls 